Okay, so what we'll do first is we'll get the focuser and the finder board ready. Like I said, I like to route a channel to mount both the focuser and the finder board, and then I'll follow through with two wood screws and some really nice dressy um, finishing washers. So as you can see, I went a quarter of an inch from the outside of the focuser board, the, the tracing, on each side, and then I did the same thing with the finder board. And now what I'll do is I'll use that same 332nd drill bit and I'll drill a hole all the way through. And you know, obviously I haven't taken the tape off yet. And what that is going to do is that's gonna give us a really precise location for whenever it comes time to route the channel for the finder board and the focuser board. So I'll get started doing the drilling real quick. Now, before we drill the holes for the struts, what I want to do is I want to untape it, and then I want to be very careful to mark the top of the bottom and the bottom of the top, because the bottom of the top ring is where we're going to drill the starter holes for the struts to slide up into, and then the top of the bottom ring are where we're going to drill the, uh, the other parts of those four holes, those starter holes. So you can either open it like a book, and that would signify the bottom of the top and the top of the bottom, or all you have to do is reline it up because I had decided that I wanted this as the top of my bottom UTA. So I'm gonna use that, but in order to do that, since I untaped them, that would now be the top of my top. So I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm going to write bottom of top. because I know that's where the starter holes are gonna go. And then this is top of bottom. So, just something to really confuse you and confuse me and cause me to drill holes in the wrong side. We don't want that. So I'll do that and now I'll go over, I'll put a one inch Forstner bit in the drill press. If you don't have a Forstner bit, you can use a spade bit. And if you don't have a drill press, you can use a electric drill or just a battery powered hand drill. Just want to make sure you get those holes nice and vertical. And a drill press is by far the, the most precise way to go. Okay, so I changed my mind as you can see. I put a spade bit in there instead of a Forstner bit because my Forstner bit was pretty dull. So I'm gonna go with this spade bit. Now to get the exact depth on each hole, what I'm going to do is I have a stop that I've made on the drill press, and I'm gonna use this stop to gauge how far down I wanna go. I want these holes to be one eighth of an inch deep. So to do that, we're gonna put that press down and see what an eighth of an inch looks like. There's about an eighth of an inch. And this is not an exact science, because remember, we haven't cut the struts yet, so I could be a little more than an eighth of an inch, a little less. It's however you want it, but I'm coming out a little more. Okay, so here we go. I'll go to the other one and I'll do the top of the bottom. This is the bottom of the top. 